This is beautiful Tuesday somewhere. Here is raining, but it's not bad. So we all give you a very warm welcome and uh, we are happy you joined us for this first third live session. Anyone with us so far? Not yet? Hello? Okay, Agata is with me. I hope you can hear me well and you can see me. We have some internet issues today because connections, it, it's, it's pretty bad probably because of the rain. Uh, so just to remind you, we, we met so far twice on our first live session in the warehouse. We were talking about the packing the bikes. Uh, later on, we'll come back to, to it for a moment. Uh, last week, we talked about uh, every traveler challenges. So what you have to go through while preparing your trip. Mm, this week, we'll concentrate on the transport. So stay with us until the end. We'll tell you everything about the transport, what we can do for you, how we can help you. If you have any questions on the way, please just ask in the comments and uh, we'll try to answer your questions in this live or, or later on. And also very warm welcome to all of our Polish friends. I know some of you are not really happy that uh, we do it in English, but please 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 understand that most of our most half of our clients are, are are not polish and english is the only common language we can use but we promise you we really do we'll do one live session uh, which refers to the most important topics in polish for you so you will have a chance to hear about everything in polish again but now Anya and the others, it's a good chance to actually practice your English a little bit. You remember you promised yourself in, in Chile and Argentina that you would do it. So start today, it's it's good moment. So uh, do you hear me? Yes or no, please. Any, any comments, any reactions? Should I follow Agata? Okay, so let's move. Um, as I mentioned, today we'll talk about the transport. Uh, as many of you know, our company is a touring company, but we have two main um, features. Oh, I am so sorry. Today we are broadcasting from home. And I have my doctor. So uh, besides of the trips, uh, we mostly concentrate on the transport. So, um, yeah, we can transport not only the bikes, but we can transport also the, the cars and the quads. And this is what, what we do. So far uh, this year, we have transported more than 100 vehicles. So bearing in mind that uh, this is just for January, February and March, it's not bad, I think. And these were not only bikes, but also quads and, and, and cars. So you don't have to be a bike traveler to, to use our services. It's if you travel on, uh, by car or by quad, it's also good. Why we decided to concentrate on transport? because we know you need it. We know you need it. And it's not that we just found it out out of the blue. We were in your shoes and we struggled a lot to find a, a reliable company which we could use to transport our motorbikes, our private bikes in the past and to go on holiday somewhere abroad. So we know how, how much it hurts and we know how much time does it need and what we facilitate you is we give you uh, the full service from the very beginning until the very end uh, so you don't have to actually do anything about uh, your holiday about preparing your logistics we will do it for you and remember last week we talked about the adv riders challenges regarding preparing the trips and all the logistics what happened in our base? <laughs> okay. Oh, we had a visit of police today, so probably it's a quarantine. I don't know, one of the neighbors. So it's really serious issue, as you as you see here in Poland. It's it's not a joke. 
So Agatka, we are now uh, in point number two. I am talking that last week we were talking about uh, uh, riders, ADV riders challenges. So if any of you want to go back and actually listen in details, uh, what you have to go through in order to prepare your trip, even before it starts, go back to your live. Here is the link and uh, it's available on our channel on YouTube as well and on Facebook. So uh, you can go on each step. Today we'll concentrate on the transport. Um, Agatka, if you can show a um, chart with a bike and car and quad so everybody knows how we actually arrange it, it would be great. Uh, our our transfer uh, transport offer is a complex service. This is something we are very proud of uh, because we offer you the entire service from the beginning until the end with a one price. So you know how much you pay and there is no hidden costs at all. So there is no situation like maybe some of you have um, experience uh, in, in before that you go uh, to pick up your bike or your quads somewhere in the world and then there is an extra port fee, an extra custom fee, an extra I don't know what fee. And at the end of the day, you pay twice more than expected. Did you have this experience? If yes, please, please give us a note. Everything. So don't worry, you will not be charged any small penny more than we agree. Uh, what does it mean the complex service? It means that we can start our transport service in your home. We of course have a warehouse when we consolidate all the um, all the vehicles coming to us from all over the Europe. But if you need so and if it uh, it is at your convenience, we can pick up your bike, your car, your quad at your home. This is possible and this is what we do on a daily basis. Um, then the, the, the complex service means that we take care about all the packing and we do it with very due diligence and care and we love your bikes like if there were ours and we love your quads, not like there were ours because we don't have quads, but we appreciate quads as well. And uh, we use cars, so we, we, we take care about the cars so we focus very much on all the packing process and this is actually where our live sessions started you remember the first sessions was from the warehouse and we showed you how we exactly pack the bikes and uh, what measures of care we put so how our cages look like how we design them thank you romek again for the design and uh, you since the beginning to the end on the basis of power of attorney of course sometimes in some countries it's impossible that we sign the documents in your name and then we'll ask you to come but uh, we will take you by hand through entire process and you will know everything step by step what you should do at which moment so there will never be delays or surprises the very important thing for us is a good communication so you can be sure that whenever you ask the question or whatever you want to know, we will answer you on time. So again, there will be no surprises that you come, for example, to Chile and you are lost in the airport or in the port looking for your bike and nobody's looking after you. No, 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 this is not us. We really care how we deal with the clients and this is very, very important uh, for us. Uh, so, um, following this uh, this rule, uh, we always provide you with assistance with assistance in picking up. 
So you go to Chile, you go to Iceland, you go to Kazakhstan, you go wherever, and there is someone from our company, uh, someone representing us that will pick you to the port, pick you to the custom office and, and assist you in all the necessary steps. So you will not be left alone and you can be sure that everything will be explained in a very detailed way. Uh, we also can help you, maybe not all of you know, in arranging the obligatory um, insurance for your vehicle because it, in most of the countries when you travel, there is an obligatory uh, civil liability insurance, not in all of them, but we know where you have to arrange it and where it's not obligatory. So either we can do it for you or we can give you the necessary contacts. So as you see, there are various stages in all the process. And in each of the stage, we are of your help. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding to any of this stage. Hello, Grzegorz, nice to hear you. Hello. Ah, and Zoltan is with us. Hi. And Eddie and Andrzej, Andrzej Piro. Andrzej, when do you finally go with us somewhere? We are waiting for you. It's been so long. Yes, I hope the border will be open soon and we can go. Hi, all. So if you have any questions, just write it down in the comments or drop us a private message. And remember, we will answer you. We'll answer you as soon as possible. So now we want to tell you a few words how we organize our transport offer because it's also complex. We try to meet the client's needs. So we are open for any questions, inquiries or, or, or any wishes. We, of course, set uh, our offer uh, by ourselves, but it is always based on your needs. So uh, in the first place, we have scheduled transport. What does it mean? We have a specific dates on which the transports are leaving Europe to specified destinations. And this refers to either sea transports, which we use, for example, if we go to South America or to Iceland, or the new uh, destination which we will open next year, Canada, Vancouver. Yes, who wants to go to Canada? Who wants to visit Alaska or the US? There will be a chance in 2021, we'll make scheduled transports there. Uh, as well, we'll start to have a base in Colombia. We, we have had base in Chile so far in South America, but we know that a lot of you want to go from the south to the north to see all the continent. So yes, there will be a chance to also uh, go to Colombia to either tra um, transport your bike from Europe to Colombia or to finish your trip in Colombia. So remember two new destinations see scheduled transport destinations for sure which is canada vancouver perfect base for all the trips through the us or canada even alaska a new base in south america which is colombia and of course our well-known and uh, very uh, successful base in chile this is where we do scheduled sea transports and uh, scheduled um, overland transports go to the other side of Europe, let's say. So we start here and we go east, we go to, the, to Asia. These transports go to uh, ex-Stans, ex-Soviet Republic, and our main base is in Kazakhstan, in Almaty. And we are also planning to open um, our, our hub uh, in Irkutsk. Well, this year transports to Kazakhstan, which were planned for July and August, are under big, big question mark. We we have not decided yet if we if it will go or not. We still believe it will be possible, and only if it will be possible, if the country will be open, if there will be flights, we will perform th this transport for you. But of course, if the coronavirus pandemic and all the situation will uh, well, will be against us. We will move these transports for next year and give you the option either to use our services for next year transports to these countries or to use any other transport which will happen before. But about this specific in, uh, information, uh, 
formations will write you emails, especially to those who are already appointed for the transport. So please be a little, little bit more patient and by the end of May, I think everything will be clear. So what does it mean that the transport are scheduled? As I said, it means that they leave Europe on a specific date and go to the specific destination. Uh, we consolidate all of the bikes and, and quads and cars in our warehouse and we pack them like you see on this super movie from our last transport. And we set, send the entire container full of cages with the bikes and cars. Why it's so important It's uh, uh, and it can be useful because the costs which are imposed on the container can be split between the number of people which are actually using the container. So these transports are basically cheaper for you because we have more bikes inside and we can calculate the entire cost uh, and divide it among the bike, the bikes or the vehicles which which we transport so this is a big advantage another thing is that okay you have fixed dates of departure and arrival to the destination but it doesn't mean by any means that you have to be there at these dates you what does it mean is that you have to deliver the bike to us for the transport by the deadline and that you can pick up your bike at the destination after the arrival of the container, but it doesn't have to be the specific date. We always have some um, warehouse days free of charge when uh, your bikes can uh, wait for you and without any additional cost. So actually the dates for your trips are flexible. The other advantage is that we have normally uh, several scheduled dates for, for our main transports. Main, I mean, for example, Chile or Kazakhstan. Uh, and to give you a specific example, the transports to Chile go usually uh, in December, in January and February and go back in February, March and April. So actually the time which you can use for your trip is, is very diversified because you can have three weeks trips or at the same time you have you can have five months trip and the price for the for the transport of your bike will be the same so it's very very flexible uh, it's cheap it's safe it's very convenient because all you have to do is you have to deliver the bike or the quad to us and the documents and that's it then you fly of course when there are planes you put the key in your vehicle and you go on a trip so this is how our scheduled transport works if you want to know more details, please let us know. If you have any dream destinations, you think we, we, we should start uh, offering the transports, also let us know. We know that some of you are looking for Africa and uh, Pavel, hello Pavel, if you are with us, this is for you. And we are ready to open uh, in, uh, a new destination in Africa, either Namibia or South Africa. So if you think about any other specific place, let us know and we'll see if we can open the scheduled transport there or we can make you only the individual transport. There are always these two options. But we are open. Please put the comments, where would you like to go? Okay, our next um, type of transport, very, very, uh, expanding recently are individual transports on demand and here again we have two branches we have let's say a CLCL transports or we can provide you with uh, air transport or we can provide you with overland transport and all of this depends where do you want us to take your bike how much time do you have and how much money do you have? These are basically the, the three factors you, you should be aware of. So starting from the uh, CLCL transport, what does it mean? It means that we are not um, we are not sending the entire container with the bikes of our clients to a specific destination, but we pack your bike in a special cage or box and we put it with other type of cargo in a um, shared container. So it still goes safe, like you said, it's, it's secured by 
all sides. This is, for example, the, the bike you see on the movie was supposed to go to the USA. Monika Ukash, are you with us? Hello, hello. No, I don't know. Anyway, this, these are your bikes still waiting for the transport. The, tra the transport was meant to be just before the pandemia started. So actually, they, the bikes didn't go to, to, to the USA. They are still waiting here. But uh, they are packed, they are secured. And at any time there is a green light to, to ship them abroad, they will go abroad. So if you want us to uh, send your bike or your quad anywhere in the world, but it's not in our scheduled plant, it is possible, just let us know and we can pack your bike in a box and ship it somewhere. Um, so this is the LCL transports. The other type of transport which is quite actually uh, often used is the air transport. Um, why it's good? It's good because it's fast. It lasts only a couple of days. Just imagine you want to go to South America and uh, you fly there, it takes, well, let's say up, up to 20 hours and your bike can be there within three days as well, sometimes less, depends on the air, uh, on, on the, um, ah, Jesus, this is so difficult today <laughs> on the line, but th this is fast and this is possible. There are few main airports in Europe, like for example, Paris and Frankfurt, from which this cargo flights go to all over the world. So what we can do for you, again, we can pick up your bike or you can deliver your bike there. We pack it, we pack it in the most efficient way. What does it mean? the airplane airplanes charges depend on the weight and on the size of the bike so it's the best way to, to transport it is to of course do it safe but at the minimum cost which means we'll not build the very heavy box because then you will have to pay more we pack it either like you see on this picture on the pallet and and secured with the film which is admitted by some airlines not all and those airlines which can which do not permit it we we pack the bikes in the boxes but yes this is always possible the air transport let us know where do you want to go and we'll do it for you even now we have few people who are stuck in in central or south america and managed to actually came back home uh, because of the pandemic but they, their bikes are still there and we are trying to transport them back by plane and the last thing I want to mention to you about this uh, individual, individual transport is something which I honestly think will be very uh, needed and uh, important for the next months while once the borders are open, which is overland transport in Europe. Uh, this is quite probable that this summer we'll have to spend our holidays within Europe. It depends what will happen in, in the world, but uh, my intuition says that most probably we'll have to stay within Europe. And okay, assuming that, for example, you want to make a trans-European trail in one of the Eastern countries and you are from Spain, you have a few thousand kilometers to start with. Is it worth to go a few thousand kilometers on the asphalt when you have limited period of time? Well, obviously the answer depends on what you prefer, but most probably no, because the time is limited and the best part actually to ride is this trans-European trade, the off-road and anything you want to see and not waste your, your time on, on the highway. So how we can help here? we can pick up your bike in Spain or whichever other place you live and take it to your starting point to the other side of Europe. We have a very uh, like well-spread net of subcontractors and transporters who do the overland European transports for us. So we can do it and arrange it in just a few days time. And we really, we are able to arrange any route within Europe. So if you plan your holiday this year in Europe, anywhere, let us know and don't waste your time on using your bike and going along, you know, boring highways. Just think about your route well, and then we can bring your bike to the starting point. So for whom actually is our offer? Because there is this kind of misconception that to use our transport offer, you have to be our uh, 
client who goes with us on the trip. And this is not the case because we have um, different, let's say, type segments of clients. Of course, a lot of them, they use uh, our, that they go with us on the trips as well. And as you know, most of our trips, all of our trips so far uh, were on different continents far away from here. So most of them required the transport of the vehicles as well. So people who go with us on a trip uh, also send with us their bikes. This is, let's say, uh, first type of, of the customers. Then we have a lot of individuals who want to go on a trip on their own. They don't want to go on any organized trip. It's not in their style. And all they need is some company or someone who will uh, do for them the transport, the customs, all the paperwork and all the hassle they don't want to deal with. So this is us, we'll do it for them. And then they just fly, put the key in the bike, go on a trip and that's it. So if you are an individual solo traveler, yes, we are for you. You can use our transport services and only transport services with all the logistics and paperwork. You don't have to go on any uh, organized trip. The third group of customers, uh, which is also very, very uh, like, widespread is a group of friends. So if you have friends, if you are five, four, 10 people who travel every year or once a year, twice a year, somewhere, somewhere far away. And actually our services are for you because most probably, again, don't have time uh, to arrange all the logistics, maybe just don't like it. So just make sure where you want to go, when you want to go, when you all have time and we can transport your bike or quad or car and your friend's bikes uh, to your uh, dream destination. And the last thing, which is also very important for us, and um, yeah, we have very, very good relationships with uh, quite a few touring companies and not only Polish, but also Polish, but also Czechs and Italians and Dutch, and I hope there will be many others that are arranging the organized tours for their clients. So what they want from us is just the transport of the motorbikes of their clients. And then they deal with all the details about the tour and the trip, it's their trip. What we do is we just transport the bikes to the specific point where they start the trip. So if you are a tour operator, just let us know. Ah, hello guys, nice to see you. Hello, can you tell us more about self-drive options? Yes, of course, we will tell you everything about it in the next live, which will be about trips which we offer and self-drive options, but uh, uh, just anticipating the next week live. Uh, yes, what we can do, and it's actually quite new in our offer, is to provide you with the logistics regarding the transport combined with a route and hotels or anything you need for the travel, which you will perform yourself. So everything will be prepared. You will have the tracks, you will have the tips, you will have all the useful information and support, background support, but you will make the travel yourself. So you are traveling the way you like, the speed you like, but everything is prepared for you. And we can do it mostly all over the world. We'll tell you about the details about what we have prepared so far in the next live next week. So you are very welcome and please join us next week. Uh, now we would like to tell you a bit about how we have uh, well performed our services so far because we are very proud that uh, we have um, average five points on Facebook, which is great. And uh, yeah, actually it encourages us to, to put more effort in what we do and it shows us that we go in good direction. And would like to share with you some of our clients' comments. And as I mentioned, please know that we have clients from all over the Europe, all over the world. They are not only Polish, so uh, they are very 
different, let's say, cultures of, of, of traveling, of approach to business, to administration, to everything. And we managed to have very good level of cooperation with all of these people. Of course, what does it mean in practice? Uh, we don't say and don't believe anyway, anyone who tells you that everything goes always 100% right. It's not like this. You can plan a lot of things. You can secure the bikes as much as you can. But there is always some emergency situations. And what is super important in that moment is that you have to, you meaning us as a company, we have to deal with it. We don't leave you with unsolved problems. Even if there is a problem or something happens, we, we solve it, we communicate with you, and we always find solution. And so far, when these emergencies have happened, we always uh, have found good solution together with the client. Both of us were happy and everything ended up well. So we are aware that, uh, yeah, emergencies happen, but we know how to deal with them. So now at the end, a few words, how you can actually uh, buy or find our transport, where you can find us. And there is, again, a few options. You can call Agata, for example. Yes, Agata is here with me. Call me or write us a WhatsApp message or you can write us a message on Facebook. You can write us an email. Uh, but what is new, and we'll also talk about it uh, probably during the next or in the life uh, in, in, within two weeks' time, is that you can buy any of our transport services directly from the website. We have introduced uh, online payments, which makes things easier and faster. So there is no need to exchange emails if you know what you want exactly. And this is what suits you. You can buy directly from the website. So don't hesitate to contact us by any of this channel. Don't hesitate to sign up for our newsletter. We are. Um, developing the newsletter again we have some, we have had small break but now it's going out again it will be at least once a month maybe a bit uh, more frequent but don't worry we will not bombard you with the email it's good to actually sign up for the newsletter because you will you will know and you will be informed about all the novelties about our plans which of course will probably evaluate you that to the corona regulations and everything what is happening in europe now so to be updated, sign up for our newsletter. You can also sign up on our YouTube channel. There are all the lives available there. So if you are interested in any particular topic, you can go back to our live from the last weeks, either on Facebook or on YouTube. Both of these channels are available. And here again, to our Polish speaking friends, we promise you, Agata actually promised that she will make a subtitles in Polish, so it will be easier for you to, to go through all the live. Yes, she is trying to shoot herself now. Yeah, I heard you promise this, so it will be available. I promise that we'll do uh, some lives in Polish, especially for you. And for those of you who have remained with us until the very end, I hope uh, the session was interesting and we would like to invite you to see uh, with us and with all of us together now our small movie from the last uh, trip in patagonia south america so this is the trip to the end of the world one of the big destinations everybody wants to go now it's of course impossible but within the few months time we hope we will be there again. We hope you will be there again and we can transport your bike. So uh, we have prepared everything. Everything is ready. We are just waiting for the borders to be opened and for the planes. The movie is available on the YouTube, but we want to share it with you today. So for now, I say goodbye to all of you, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I hope you found it interesting. And I really hope we'll see you again on our next live session. So bye from Motobirds. Stay tuned and stay five minutes more and see the movie with us. Bye.
have some internet issues, I think. The, inter the, the movie is not going properly and we don't want to spoil it with this cut. So please feel free to go to our YouTube channel. There is plenty of nice movies there. This is the last one from Patagonia, so enjoy. Uh, dream about your next trip. We'll take your bike there if you want. And uh, yeah, hope you like it. Let us know if you like our movies, by the way. And bye.